What is up here? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Conquer's Bad Fur Day Blind. In the last episode, we we had quite the exchange with a hay bale terminator monster. Had quite the throwdown inside this barn, and now I think we're actually done with everything in this area. At least that I can think of. Oh, and how could I not forget about our sunflower friend over here? My goodness, this game, guys. This game. So we'll head on out and see what else we can do in the overworld now. Maybe there's more area we can access now that we have some cash. In Conqueror's case, probably to bribe someone or whatever. We have the bee there. Oh, that's right, there's a whole area to the left that smelled pooey, right? A gas mask? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, <laughs> Conqueror just randomly holds a... Uh, a gas mask around. I thought this was gonna be like one of those context sensitive points. Oh, he just face planted into it too. Uh, not good. If we go in here, we can. What are we gonna find? Ah, uh, yes. The quest for the missing table leg. You better hurry up. Continues. What are you looking at? Nothing, sire. Oh, I think I can hear him. Eureka, Eureka! I found it, I found it! Yeah, yeah, Eureka! Oh, ah, there you are! <laughs> You'll never get spot! I think I have found the problem. Now, we have here, if you look, the table. If you analyze the table closely, as I have done, most particularly, you will see that there is a gap. And we are not talking any old gap here, my lord. It is a <laughs> Thank you for the obvious. Milk goes here. What happens? We have the fulcrum here, the milk here. The weight problem, not good. Milk falls off because of a gap. Yeah, that is what is the problem. The gap. I think I see. <laughs> and As if it wasn't incredibly apparent before. Now this is where it gets complicated. I was mulling over what would fit in the gap. I tried many things. I tried elephants, pot plants, many things. But the one thing, and I was sure of it at the time, I was sure it was a rodent. Sure enough, it was. This one. Various. <laughs> to use the proper vernacular. To the layman, the red squirrel. This red squirrel. Hmm. Yes. Squirrel. I've heard of them. Yes. So. So it's a simple malish. We need a squirrel. And we put him here. You know, spill your milk? We don't get duct tape. <laughs> what a solution! Gentlemen. Yes, my liege. Get me one of these red squirrels. Yes, my liege. So that's how Conquer plays a role in this madness. They take a look at this table, analyze that it's missing a leg, and think. Oh. Hey, all right there. How are you doing? Hi, hi, how you doing? Come on, come in now. Yeah, I sit down, what I want. Oh, this, this thing really smells. Ah, uh, well, she wear like <laughs> dung beetles and you roll the poo around. F knows what for. <laughs> oh, really? If you watch, you watch some poo. Um, uh, uh, all right. Get your f ass in there. There's these f cows. Get them in there. Get them to crap, and I'll make you a ball of poo. And you can do what the hell you like with it. Go on, on your break. You still here? F that. Oh, charming. Incredibly charming. But yeah, so it's so funny, they, they go through this whole process of analyzing, trying the, the pots, and I don't know if you can see on the blueprint, but there are the crossed out pot plants and the crossed out elephant, and they say, yes, a squirrel, specifically a red squirrel, is the perfect solution to this table problem. And that they apparently didn't even understand why it was, you know, malfunctioning before. So now we have this dung beetle, who's rather vulgar, telling us to go down here. Oh, it's a context sensitive... What these sound effects? <laughs> what? 
What is going on? Do I hear cash? I think I hear cash. Can I look up and see if there's any cash up there, maybe? Um, I don't think we can get it either way. <laughs> wow, conquer with a gas mask is something. What? What is this sound? This soundtrack? <laughs> this song is unbelievable, guys. What is that chocolate there? Yeah. Okay, so we're we're progressing. There is plenty of poo coming in through there. As is over there. I can hop off this platform here. I want to take a look down there though to make sure I'm not missing anything on that platform. I tried looking briefly and I didn't see a way to invert the uh, the camera controls, which is unfortunate and a little bit surprising admittedly, but not the end of the world. I don't think there's any cash down there that I'm unable to grab if I continue propelling upwards. Uh, so which ropes do I want to take next? How high up does this one go? Oh, quite high up. So I guess we can actually just keep going with this one for a bit. Or no, we can't because I'm not going to be able to hover all the way over there. So, not going to make... What? Depth perception. Depth perception, no! So that did not turn out as well as expected. Luckily we didn't die though. I think I actually saw the cache on the way down. Yeah. How do we get that? Can I jump up there and get it? I doubt it. Do I have to... I don't know, to be honest. I really don't know. I'm thinking maybe do I have to fall down and as I'm falling, try to fall in a very specific manner so that I can hover over there? I'm not sure. I hear you, bud. I hear you. The, the depth perception is proving to be a little bit of a struggle, but we're surviving, I think. Okay. I wonder if that poo as it falls, what a thing to say, um, is going to damage me or not. Like, is that an obstacle I should be wary of? Is that cash over there? No, but it looks like where I'm supposed to go. Camera, please work with me here. Am I supposed to jump onto this? Yeah, I think so. And then we can uh, hover on over here. I do want to turn around though and take a look first to make sure I'm not missing anything. There was that cache. I don't know how to get that. Maybe we'll find a way as we go. I don't really want to take the time to get that extra tail there. So we'll we'll keep on exploring. Didn't he didn't he say there were cows down here or something? Right? There were cows we need to look into. Why is there all this poo here? <laughs> this game. Can we go on over this way? Oh, we almost made it. We almost made it. There was a context-sensitive button there. I don't really know... Can I get back up there? I would probably have to go over here to redo that, unfortunately. So... So I guess that's what we'll do, unfortunately. Seems to be the, uh, the name of the game right now. Did I fall? I can't see anything. Okay. <laughs> what? Okay. So that confirms that uh, it does hurt, which is good to know. Now the real question is going to be, which direction do I fall? I have an opportunity now to check, right? Can I hover to that where that money is? Let's see. Well, I guess I was falling too fast and I couldn't, you know, use my, my tailspin. So I guess that's good to know. So we'll get back to platforming. Maybe we flush out the money or something like that. That would be pretty funny. Would be on point for conquers as well. Okay, where do I want to go next? Back over this way, I think, right? Yeah. What? I don't know if you guys saw that, <laughs> but that did not turned out how I expected. I bonked my head on something, I believe. 
Oh, I actually just need to climb up on that one again anyways. So we'll wait for this. And there we have it. I'll, I'll wait for that to go before we try this again. What? I bonked my head again, I think. So I did not effectively gain the height I needed. Let's try this again this way. Don't fall. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Do we just die straight up? Yeah, I think so. Alright, well, that'll use one of our lives. Grim Reaper, Greg, is very kind to bring us back here. We're running low on tails. And, um... Yeah, I can't use my tail spin there. And I don't see any way of getting up at that point, so... Wow, what's funny is, like, I really didn't have trouble with this the first time around. I must have gotten lucky, because... I don't feel like things are going, you know, that incredibly horribly in terms of the platforming. Like, it's not excruciatingly difficult platforming. I enjoy that quite a bit. I mean, I've played through a fair number of 3D platformers, 2D platformers as well. We made it up here. Okay. So we are living. Um... Do I want to get a running start, or do I want to do the the crouch jump? I feel like there's got to be something else I do here, right? Like, look up there. Is there something that falls in there? That makes getting over there much more feasible, right? All the chocolate is just kind of floating. That doesn't seem right. So, let's... I guess let's get a running start and see if we can make it on over. Okay. So, that's something important. I certainly was on that platform. I certainly was where I needed to be, and it did not work. Which makes me think that we haven't done something necessary to access that button yet. Prune juice? Ah, right, don't see any poo here. Oh, hey, uh, excuse me, hello? Yeah, you. Uh, <clears throat> whoa, let's <laughs> finally type. I'm looking for some poo. I know it sounds pretty strange, but... <coughs> oh. <coughs> red. Red. I don't like red. <coughs> red. red. <laughs> this bowl doesn't seem to intent on uh, pooing for us. He doesn't like red. What? I don't see anything red around. Oh. Here we go again. <laughs> oh. And clearly, we've got to make him poop using the prune juice, I guess. The real question is, how are we going to do that? That's a, a poop ball, I guess. Coming from... What even is this madness? This craziness of a level. So I guess we'll head on over there. Is this surrounding area prune juice? Or... I don't really know. I mean, clearly that thing is going to attack us. And it moves quite a bit faster than we do. Which is also very much worth noting. I don't see much of a way to avoid him at the moment. Nor do I see really anything else to do in here. And narrowly escape that. Anything down here I can do? What about over this way? Under here, maybe? Nope. I guess... I mean, it doesn't seem like he runs beyond the water. So I don't know. Because, uh... I'm fairly confident we need to get him to, like, attack one of these things, right? Like, typical, I don't know, rushing, raging bull type problem where you've got to get him to run into a particular thing of interest. Maybe after that I can hit him or something? I mean, we hit him. Didn't really do anything. And I didn't see any light bulbs for any uh, context-sensitive buttons or anything. Maybe I'll check this platform over here one more time. 
Maybe now that we've triggered this cutscene, we can go back to that <clears throat> other button. What's going on here? <clears throat> if I just chill here, what's gonna happen? <laughs> that sound effect, whatever it happens to. It's just something else. Okay, well, we can... I don't know. Well, we can climb up this over here. Time to do some platforming. There we go. We gotta avoid the rolling balls of poop, I guess, in order to get up. What a concept. So we can go probably to the left or the right here. I wonder if there's actually gonna be anything over here. Seems there will not be. But I couldn't help but explore. It's just my... I don't know, it's my video game intuition telling me I have to check out that area. Whoa! So we're slipping and sliding all over the place here. So this one should come down which way? Can I go up here? I can. Nice, we got some chocolate to heal up, which is lovely. And is this going to be a, a context-sensitive button for us? Do I need to go over this way? I don't think so. Not sure. We'll keep on extending out here. What? I thought there was more platform to me for me to walk on or something. Are you kidding me? Alright, well, we'll skip this cutscene again and, and go back to platforming. Maybe, I don't think it's just me in terms of depth perception, but things definitely seem really difficult to anticipate how deep they are in terms of the, the screen. Because I thought I had a lot more space to go. Turns out that was not the case, though. Alright, well, we can climb up here. <laughs> Listen to the sound effects. So here we are. And I can't even rotate the camera, unfortunately. Context specific? Oh! So I have to run around this, like so. Interesting. And that's supposedly the prune juice coming out? That's really funny. Now, logic would denote that something that drinks that is gonna get the screaming squit. Hmm. Ah. That looks distinctly like a target. And there we have a bowl. Yes. I think I Thanks for spelling it out for us, game. <laughs> Alright. So, we're gonna have to... Oh, very nicely. They no longer sling poo balls at us. There's my dog. This is what I get for trying to record in the middle of the day. Alright, I'll wait a second, guys. Sorry. This is my punishment for... Being too eager. Can we swim in the prune juice? We can. Too eager to play Conkers and wanting to play during the day. Normally I record at night when, well, the world at large, including my family, is a lot more quiet. But I love this music. This is so funny. So we gotta get to hit the target, obviously, right? Whoa, screen, why are you tilting like that? Nice. So we open up one door, and there's a... there's a cow. Okay. Ah, a cow. Now that could be useful. Right. Why is the ground shaking? He's a little bit more hands-on control. He's a bit of a wild one. Ooh, that time again, is it? Oh, I see Bugalugs is out here again. Oh, well. that's a nice little patch. I think that's a little bit of grass. Moo. <laughs> that voice acting is hilarious. Need to get over there somehow. Hmm. So I guess we'll keep aiming for the targets. Where's the raging bull? <laughs> do they do they seriously just ole in the soundtrack? They do. That is so funny. Come on. What? Did that hit it? That should hit it. Oh! Hello there. So, do I need to... What am I... <laughs> so I have to attack the cow? 
goodness me. I've quite lost my appetite now. I'm going to go. I'm going to go for a little meander over here. Hmm. Actually, I feel a bit thirsty. Now, some beverage should wash this. <laughs> this game is so funny. This looks quite nice. Looks to be cranberry flavored. Lovely. Hmm. Mm, Tastes a bit hotter. Some more. Mm. Uh oh. What is this game, guys? <laughs> what is this game? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I see. This is far from dignified. Oh, I hope maybe she's not going to see this. I'll never hear the end of it. Oh, oh. oh that's a bit. Oh, hey, it's a minimum. Oh, that's. Ah. Oh, I'll just stay here for a while, just in case. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, so we're still controlling this raging bull. Am I supposed to... I don't know, is there another... I, I, I took damage from that. Are we supposed to release the other cows? Or are we, are we good to go? I get the impression there are more... cows we should be... getting. Poor cow stuck on there. What's so funny is like, there's so many like funny, just like hilariously relatable experiences of it all too, you know? Like the whole like, yeah, you know, things seem a little bit unstable. I'll stay here for a little bit longer. Like everybody's had one of those bathroom type experiences. What am I supposed to do here? Whoa. So I took damage from that. Are, are we done? It looks like there are more doors that can be opened though, right? Just looking around, there's that one there, there's that one there, and there's one there. So the question is... How do we get the other cows out here? I don't really know. I mean, this is the only target available, right? Oh, yikes. And it's not like we can hit that one anymore, right? <laughs> this music is so funny. <laughs> this game in general is hilarious. So I guess we'll attack the cow in the middle that's doing what we want. What? What? We just blew that cow to smithereens. What even? So that's that's what we need to do? We need to progressively bring the cows out so they can drink the prune juice and then take huge dumps in the middle. And then while they're doing that, we hit them with the raging bolt to make them blow up. This game, guys, I tell ya. Right now, that cow is just enjoying a nice little a nice little lunch. We're about to go interrupt things, though, obviously. Oh, man. This is so funny. Just absolutely wipe out. The grass is always greener, they say. I love the voice acting for the cows. They're so funny. Alright. I know you said the grass is always greener, but... I can't let you eat that grass. Oh, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. There we go. Let's see here, how do I dismount? I'm gonna go get some prune juice now, I guess. <laughs> you can already hear the sound effects, right? Doing less than ideal in the center there. Providing for our dung beetle friends. What? Alright, well, I guess I missed. Maybe we have to wait a certain amount of time first. Probably not, I probably did just miss. Well, I'd imagine that's a sufficient amount of poop for our friends, the dung beetles. 
so let's uh let's do what we what we did last time. What? No, I missed. I guess I missed. For what it's worth, uh, controlling the that bull is not quite as nice as you would think. I wonder if we can just get him to rage into the cow itself. No, we have to control the cow. Or the bull. Come on. But yeah, when you're on the bull, you hit B, and then he like backs up a bunch, and then you can try to rearrange things. Alright, so there goes the second cow. I can't help but think this is a pretty unsustainable business model, right? You take out a cow, and then uh, that cow comes out, you feed him prune juice. They take, you know, a bunch of dumps, and then you kill them? Like, that cow is good for quite a few more dumps in the future, right? You don't have to attack them with this raging bull. Why do you have a raging bull in this place? Right? What function does it purpose, or does it serve? I don't know. But, sorry, sorry cow friend, but no... No chomping on the grass over there. We gotta get you to work. Gotta get you to that prune juice. Notoriously makes people have to take a dump. Admittedly, I don't think I've ever actually had any myself. Certainly a thing of, of the past that you may hear about from other adults or grandparents or the like. Finally going to get that prune juice. There we go. What? Aw, oh, man. I was just trying to ride around in the bowl in the meantime to kill some time. But, nope. Well, oh, our, our friend there is not having a good time. Stuck over the toilet. Never a fun experience. It's not like she even has a phone to read over or anything. <laughs> Alright. So this should be it. There we go. Oh man, you can see the heads. What? <laughs> to be filled up with poo. That should do it. What an encounter, guys. <laughs> what an encounter. That was certainly interesting. Comical, for sure. I'm going to heal up real quick, and then I think we are going to drop on down in there and see what happened. I believe this is where that, that well, that light was coming from before. That it's going to lead us to that context-sensitive button. Okay, we'll definitely take that. We were running low. And now we can head on over to the context sensitive button, I believe. Yeah, and see what it does. What is that? Confidence, Confidence pills? What do we need those for? Diving? Take off the armies? Yeah. Hey, I feel a lot more confident. Yeah. Need these anymore. There we go. And if I'm a lot more confident, then I should be able to swim underwater now. Hmm. How would I do that? I love the manual is literally titled What to Do. Press B and that should submerge. Okay. Then once I'm underwater, hold down B to make Okay. Sense. Simple enough. Find the control stick in the direction you wanna go. Alright then. Um, are you sure you can? Yeah, I think so. So, we can swim. I, I guess we'll do that. Come on. What is... Whoa. This is an experience. There's the bull. Doesn't seem to be doing so hot. Oh my. Neither do we, apparently. Look at Conker's face in the right there. That's a 
very interesting meter, I will say, in terms of... How am I supposed to get back? I guess I have to swim back. So we'll go on down. Where did we come from? Here? Yeah, I think this is the first place we came from, right? Yep, yep, we'll get you in a second. We're gonna do this, and we've got some money. That's how we get that. But yeah, what a meter to demonstrate how much time you have left underwater. It's really funny. You know, it's honestly very on point for Conquer. <laughs> Yeah, more spondooly. More spondooly? What, what's that? Maybe it's a good thing I don't know. So we fell into here, didn't we? So the question is... How do we get out? <laughs> Probably one of these other passages. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go up here to replenish my air. But when we fell all the way down, that's when we sort of reset at the very beginning of the Dung Beetles area. So let's try and swim all the way down. Nice. Success. And where- wait, what? Where's our Dung Beetle friend? Where'd he go? We just did all of that to help him out. And we can't even see him for a reward? I guess we'll head out then. Where'd he go though? Oh, here he is. Over there, big ball of poop. Oh, thanks. You're welcome to it, mate. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> How lovely. Now we have our very own big ball of poo. Alright, game's uh, having a little bit of a tough time dealing with all this moving poo. We've got an area over there we can go to. Okay. What do we do with this ball of poo, though? I've clearly got to move it somewhere. Somebody, something, is going to appreciate it, I'd imagine. Can I... Let's explore for a moment, briefly. Maybe I have to roll it up here. And at the top, there'll be something? That's my first inclination. We can take a look at the side as well. Oh, we got a dung beetle, who is just dead set on attacking us. And we can't really attack ourselves now, can we? At the very least, our attacks don't seem to be very effective, do they? <laughs> it's absolutely hilarious. Alright, well, we'll keep on moving. There are a bunch of these dung beetles. We can kind of hover out of their way for the time being. Excuse me? Who are you? What is going on here? Hello? Well, that dung beetle has definitely seen better days. <laughs> that is a pretty funny comment it has made. Can I keep going up? Did I hear some cash? Oh, and then there's an area... I, I, I am skeptical, though. I don't necessarily want to... I'm gonna head on down for a moment. I don't want to head into a new area yet, because that might get rid of our ball of poo, and I don't want to have to redo that whole segment again. I see some money over there, which is worth noting. So I guess what we can do is maybe try to roll this ball up Let's see, we'll head over this way for the moment. But maybe we can try to bring it up to that dung beetle that we saw. Who, I guess, could really use a big ball of poo to get his act together, I guess? I can see that being the way the game tries to reason it together. Also, look how much bigger this ball of poo is getting as we keep climbing. It's like a snowman. No! <sighs> really? Okay, so at least that is going to... <laughs> what is this animation? <laughs> the poo factory. It's gonna get us another ball of poo. Lovely, lovely. While we're here, I did want to take a look, actually, because I saw it. it looked pretty funny. Oh, it says, no photo something. I thought I'd get a better look from that angle, but I guess not. There's a dung beetle there, so we gotta be fast. No poo balls! Oh, okay. 
good to know. We've still got a couple pieces of chocolate left, so I'll give us a few more goes before I go hunting for some more chocolate to replenish our health. But, yeah, I guess there's got to be some strategy, right, to avoiding these guys. If we wait for them to go in there, and then we can work on going past. Because it seems like they will hide in there and take refuge for a few moments before coming back out again. So, we're going to run away for a moment. Let him go back. Grab our ball of poo. Wait for him to go in there. Run, Conquer, run! We gotta go! We gotta go fast! And we've made it to our friend here. Who is blocking our way. Excuse me? Are we supposed to bring it from the other direction? Like, from above? Let's see if we can bring it down here. Nope. Nope. What does that mean? It means we have to take a different route, I guess. Alright. We'll... We'll do it. <laughs> so that was not the route that was the way to go. So we'll try bringing the, the ball of poo up this way. Maybe... Maybe it wasn't sufficiently sized? You would think, though, that there would be like a cutscene or something telling us that that dung beetle needs a ball of poo before we can actually bring it to him. For whatever reward it offers. For what it's worth, we don't even really know why we're doing this yet, right? Why do we need to help out this dung beetle? Of course, it's relevant, because if, you know, if you weren't relevant, he certainly wouldn't be there. <laughs> this soundtrack, guys. Absolutely hilarious. Don't attack me, don't attack me, don't attack me. And more importantly, don't get rid of my poo ball. But you are dangerously close to knocking off of this ledge. Which would not be appreciated. Okay. We have obtained the ball of poo. Just add one stick of D&D. What? Are we seriously? Why did we just blow up? What? Why did we just blow up this giant dung beetle? Excuse me? So I guess we did that... So that we can bring a ball of poo all the way up here? I guess? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Darn. I tried to activate my... Tail first. With no luck. So let's actually go back and get some chocolate while we can. There is that door area to the left, which we haven't accessed yet. So I'll probably look into that. Well, there was that area at the top of the mountain, right? The top of the Pooh Mountain, I guess, that we could interact with. Looked like we could go into. But then there was also that area to the left on ground level. So I'm not exactly sure which one is the way to go. Oh, and there's a new, an extra life there. That's nice. So I guess we'll head back up. Now that we've got some extra health, which is nice. But yeah, so we went to the right, and then if we go to the left here... Let's hope our ball of poop is still here. It is, okay. Yeah, I'm curious to see what's going on over there. But maybe, maybe we'll get to that in a bit. In the meantime... We'll go this way. Ah, so that other pathway is just so we can feed that dung beetle a ball of poop plus dynamite to get rid of it. So that we can take this route up with the ball of poop and... I don't know. I actually don't know what we're going to do with it all the way at the top. Because it looked like at the top there was really just a... Just an entrance to a potential level. Maybe we have to roll this into the level for some reason? This guy's coming over here. Don't. Don't get rid of the ball of poop. Don't move it. Don't move the ball of poop. Go away. Go away. Go away. Don't break the ball of poop. Alright. We are in business. That was awfully close. <laughs> Scarily close. Is this... 
Oh, we know this is where that huge dung beetle was. Okay, so we'll keep on going. Are we gonna run into any more? We are. Oh, and he just went in. Hurry, 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 hurry. Before he comes out and attacks us. Oh, he's on to us. He's on to us. This guy's going in. Nice, this timing though. Alright. Oh, you know what? Oh, I don't want to go in now. Can I bring this out a little bit? I think I can jump on top of this. No, don't fall, don't fall, Conquer. I don't know. It seems like I have to jump on this and then jump up to get that money. Maybe not, though. All right, well, we'll bring this into here. What does that do? It's like one of those, like, gumball machines. The ball of poop is, is going it down there, and oh, it breaks that open. Why is that relevant, though? And we're granted another ball of poo. Lovely, lovely. So what happens if we go in here? Oh, we can't go in here. <laughs> that totally looks like the entrance to a level or something, right? So we can fall. And um, I tried to do my tailspin, but to no avail. Do that to break our fall. And I'd imagine then... <laughs> she just calls the buster. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> so now we have access to a particular area. This is probably the goal of that whole little side quest. Not feeling the gas mask anymore? Uh, hey, pal, what's where you going? Uh, uh, wait, uh, take, take my bicycle get out of here. It's, it's still really bad in there. You just don't want to go in there. Calm down. Now, just calm down and tell me what's the matter. Right. Okay. It all started about two days ago. It was me and the lads. We were having a cup of tea. The next thing we know, Chaz is gone. We couldn't find him. I was thought, oh, maybe he's just gone off, you know, like do a bit of shopping or something. He never came back. <laughs> These dung beetles. He was just walking along, minding his own business. So I stood down and said, hey, Baz, how you doing there, eh, mate? And he waved over. And that was it. This thing came out of the shite. <laughs> and I thought to myself, oh no, I was getting out of his. So I had to hate first. And when I came out, I was, thought it was all clear. The lads are gone. The bastards have nailed me in. I'm out of here. You can do what you like. There's some money up there if you can be asked to get it. See us. Interesting. So there's some sort of monster here amongst the poop that is, I guess, well... Uh, something we're gonna have to try to deal with for the sake of the dung beetles and we can maybe get some money if we're rewarded but I think we're gonna call it here we have quite the ordeal ahead of us to solve and if it's anything like the other ones it may take a good while in order to do so so in this episode we had a very interesting encounter with some cows and prune juice and we've been swimming through quite a bit of crap and it looks like we're far from done with it so I hope you guys are looking forward to whatever the next episode may Hold, but until that next episode, this is Movement Night Zero, and this mission is complete.